I did a, a couple clips about Maryland and how they set up like a crony capitalism kind of big uh, baller baller only um, application system <clears throat> and they there was something in there about they wanted to have diversity of you know diversity something blah 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 I might <clears throat> I might read a quote here in a minute about it but the only thing that wasn't diverse is who they picked it was all white people big surprise um, and there's been a complaint about this in the uh, the minority community in general but mainly I've heard this from Black Lives Matter I've heard this from other activists in the black community and rightfully so and even the Native American community who are even being more um, shall I say shut out of the game of this whole new industry that's coming in whether it be the medical marijuana or whether it be recreational and in this case it's the medical marijuana and in this case it was a black man named Eugene Monroe now if I had this channel going uh, like a year ago I'd be talking about how Eugene was going public talking about different things uh, concerning his uh, injuries that he had received while playing in the NFL and how he was retiring from the NFL earlier he was you know trying to break his contract um, and now you know he's he's out and he's trying to get one of these licenses in Maryland and they rejected him they picked 10 people he wasn't excuse me he wasn't one of them so this is uh, the Washington Post I hate them anyway Ugh. sorry about using the Washington Post I could have used somebody else but whatever I feel uh, this seemed to fit the, the quick I just want to get through this quick so let's just rip through it um so he was released this year and until he was released while he was still playing football he was the NFL's foremost advocate for allowing players to use medical marijuana and now there's a lot of players that are players that are active, that are advocates, and there's obviously players that just were active, as we also learned from Denver Fox 31, that the former Denver Broncos players are uh, having, a, they had like a big open mic session for, uh, the, for their fight for the NFL to allow players to use medical marijuana, and that's in, out of, came out of Denver. <clears throat> so a little bit of history on Eugene. He played seven seasons in the NFL, released by the Ravens in June 2016. Monroe announced his retirement from football one month later at the age of 29, citing concerns over head trauma sustained during his career and the risk of developing neurological problems. Monroe played college football at Virginia. That's from Wikipedia. So Eugene, he was a partner in a company in Maryland. Uh, and they were called Green Thumb Industries, and they put in their application to try to become one of the, um, the facilities that grew marijuana in Maryland for their medical marijuana program. And now he's suing the regulators for rejecting the application, uh, saying that they were unfairly and illegally denied the lucrative license to grow marijuana under weird circumstances. And it's true it was kind of weird with it what happened they didn't want the lawsuit to they filed on Monday to further delay the long program that's already like super slow this program's taken forever it's one of the slowest rollouts I could get more into that later um, I'm not gonna but I'm just gonna remind you that this Maryland thing is a super slow rollout and he's hoping that his action doesn't like further delay that for other people involved because he's not trying to hinder them he's just trying to get his seat at the table rightfully so so here's a quote from him I played a long career in the NFL suffered many injuries and I'm a Maryland resident that looks to use cannabis as therapy uh, he was released from a 37.5 million dollar contract in June quote I don't want to see this drag out any longer too so last month, the medical Maryland Medical Cannabis Commission said it expects medical marijuana to become available to patients in the summer of 2017. Maybe. And that's four years after it was legalized. 
since then the program is becoming broiled in controversies that threaten additional delays including objections to the lack of racial diversity in companies approved to grow and criticism of last minute reshuffling of applicants to spread cultivation sites around the state that's what got monroe his application got bumped for somebody because his area was already covered and somebody in some other area needed blah 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 you know how it works um gerrymandered i guess i don't know i mean they had a chance here to not only let the first uh african-american uh applicant get a license and kind of shut everybody up about the diversity but also he was an activist in the nfl you know and he still is an activist just by quitting early in his career just saying well oh, i'm out you know because it's important to me to inform people about these head injuries a and b medical marijuana man it's what we should be fighting for in the nfl because it's what actually helps neurological damage from these head injuries uh instant um benefits to head injuries uh i don't know the list goes on studies are out there look into it if you don't believe me um so anyway they blew that opportunity and they didn't give him one of these coveted licenses so green thumb industries an offshoot of a chicago-based medical marijuana grower with associated dispensaries in massachusetts and nevada put in one of the 15th highest ranking applications to grow medical marijuana in maryland and they was talking about discouraging out-of-staters being involved and that might have had something to do with it but when i look over the list of people that did get licenses there was a couple of out-of-staters in every one of the ones that got it you know i mean there's a lot of police that got this a lot of cops dea people um former government uh it's a crony handoff to all their friends um i don't know if michigan can do it the way michigan's law is written unless they use money to do it then yeah they can definitely cut anybody they want out of the game with money and maybe that's what they did here not really because this guy was a former nfl football player he just walked away from like a 25 million dollar contract 24 and a half so anyway green thumb was uh maryland cultivating and processing was another place that regular uh, regulators denied a license to to make room for lower rank growers in unrepresented areas and I've also read where one of the licenses was sacrificed overall so somebody could have a grower and processor license at the same time. So the commission uh, earlier had advised applicants that their choice of location would not be relevant for the initial application stages and that they didn't need to show geographic d diversity. Basically saying, you know what, if we have some kind of a geographical problem with where your facility is, and you don't have a problem with where it's actually at you can put it wherever you want and we'll just make sure that you know we put, tell you where to put it so it is in the right area so they could have worked around them on that tip so the company is seeking ex expedited review by the baltimore judge to force the commission to give them a preliminary license but green thumb industry says it will not try to stop other marijuana companies from operating while legitimate I don't know if they can actually start anything if there's litigation pending, but anyway, the commission and the state attorney general's office have declined to comment on the suit. Buddy Rob Shaw, the vice chairman of the commission, told Washington Post this month that the commission was saying that the precise address of growth sites was not necessary when it told applicants the location is not relevant. So he was saying the precise address later on, kind of like, oh, I, I meant, you know, the general area. You, you, we needed the precise address. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Regulars later asked what county growers wanted to operate in as a way of ensuring they were balanced throughout Maryland. End of the story. Um, I don't know. I think, I think uh, Monroe will find somewhere that's going to let him operate. He's. He's a good person, it seems like. He's got a good thing going on, and I think he will do good things in the business. Um, if if they wanted to be diverse in Maryland, they could have just hooked him up, man. They still can. I don't see what the big deal is. It seems like they could just break off another license and let him in. Maryland, let him in, man. Do the right thing. All right, I'm out.